What's up, guys? Ultimate King slash Ultra Atomic giving you some Battlefield 4 gameplay. And on top of that, of course, some news, of course. Um, now, guys, again, guys, I'm sorry about the recent video I uploaded. It's apparently at the end of the video, there was no sound. It was my bad. I was rushing things. I had some things to do, and I didn't uh, check the video before I uploaded it. But I'll get to that uh, point that I was about to say at the end of the video at a later time. Right now, I got to talk about what's happening today. Basically, guys, if you guys are familiar with uh, Red Dragon's channel, if you're not, I recommend it. Uh, it's pretty much called Red Dragon. Uh, he has a special video out that's called Microsoft Secret Sauce, and he talks about one uh, developer uh, basically um, talking about uh, how much the Direct X12 will improve, double the performance of the Xbox One. Um, basically, it's pretty pretty good I'm, I'm not gonna lie i really recommend you guys watch that video I've, I've watched it myself and i find it very very interesting and uh, i honestly think it will sort of do those types of things i know it will reduce frame drops and stuff like that but we will only find out of how much can it improve the xbox until they actually release it um and speaking about that there's been a lot of news about xbox one because it had sort of a microsoft conference explaining the power of the cloud and stuff like that so i didn't find this out until you know until i checked actually checked the websites and you know i found this out now there's been a lot of news uh, speculating phil spencer there's a couple news about phil spencer right now phil spencer um he comments to a tweet that someone you know asked him uh, how much will the Direct X 12 improve the Xbox One? And he said that not to be specific on this uh, answer. Phil Spencer says it will improve it by a lot, and by a lot, think of it as PDZ, which is perfect, a dark zero. And if many of you guys don't know what that uh, game is, go ahead and check it out. You just put perfect dark zero, and it's a game made in 2005, and think of that game, and then Halo 4. <laughs> that's a pretty big improvement from a game from 2005 to a game that came out in 2012 very 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 good uh, game I mean that's how much it's gonna improve the Xbox one now they have guys showed a tech demo of the direct X 12 and how much its capability will show I'll go ahead and leave you a link in the description below and it looks pretty good um, I'll go ahead and leave you a link in the description on my uh, on, on the new site that I usually watch it from and uh, there we go. It's pretty interesting in my, in my thought. Uh, it, sometimes they show you so much, you know, actual, you know, the same gameplay that you kind of get lost and go, okay, hold on, I have to go back, rewind it, and actually look at the, the differences between those two gameplays. And getting back to Phil Spencer again, uh, he had did a question and answering uh, with uh, Xbox fans and also known as, uh, also he talked with Major Nelson about comments that the Xbox fan base has been talking about and then answering them, you know, while Major Nelson actually, you know, tells him the questions. And he said mainly it's, I'll go ahead and leave you a link on the description on that too as well. Um, there's been a lot of news also about Sony. Sony has been very, very quiet. Uh, I honestly do not know why, but uh, all of a sudden when Microsoft threw this press conference out, it's been, <laughs> it's been pretty, pretty uh, uh, hectic. I I'm guessing Sony's trying to throw as much information as well just to compete with Microsoft. I mean, it's, it, it, it's vice versa. Basically, Microsoft did the same thing once Sony does something, and it's, it, you can see it. You can see it in the news. Uh, basically, Microsoft, uh, Sony has announced um, that unannounced games will be coming out to the PS4, which is kind of like, uh, it's like they want to say something, but they can't because they want to wait. Um, lately, the news has been kind of really weird with uh, Sony, but eventually something will come up. Probably they're saving their stuff at E3 and we'll find out more at E3. This is very exciting for Microsoft and Sony because E3 is coming, guys. Guys, this will be the end of my video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to kick that like button on your way out. And for more news and updates, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Ultimate King slash Ultra Atomic out.